Hello, I'm Jennifer Lightham. I am a musician of some repute. I've played at Carnegie Hall 11 times, played at the Hollywood Bowl 13 times. I've been all over the world playing music with a lot of um, pretty well-known people. 10 years with Mel Torme, about 25 years with Doc Severinsen off and on. Um, played for Peggy Lee, played for Woody Herman, um, I even recorded with K.D. Lang in Take Six. <laughs> I was in a lot of, of uh, movie soundtracks back in the in the late 80s and 90s. I've done lots of jingle work. I've, I'm a composer. I'm also a vocalist. And I've put out 11 records of my own. And uh, I have over 3 million streams of my, my tunes on Spotify. And uh, I've made a... Um, Oh, goodness, music all my life. And I happen to be transgender. I'm a transgender woman. My transition happened in 2001. And this is the Transgender Day of Visibility. So I've been visible pretty much every day since 2001. And uh, in this time, we still need to be making ourselves visible as best we can. There's a lot of trans people who are not in a position to be truthful about who they are because it's dangerous times. And uh, just yesterday, the, the state of Idaho pretty much legislated trans people out of existence. No, you can't get a birth certificate changed there anymore. You can't do your ID documents. You can't play sports. And why is this happening? Why are suddenly the, the politicians in charge suddenly deciding that, it, that transgender legislation needs to be passed because we're such a threat to society? And it is such a ludicrous proposition. Transgender people have been around since the dawn of time, since man began recording history. We're part of the human experience. We're part of the population. We always have been and we always will be. You're not going to legislate us out of existence. You know, in the last few years, trans people have become slightly more visible. And uh, you're starting to see more of us in your own circles, you're, as your members of your family, uh, as people you might work with, or there's people you see on television. Uh, we're certainly becoming a little bit more visible. But now why is it that they would legislate against us? Why are we such a threat? And part of it is in that, that a lot of people on the more conservative side, still feel that somehow being transgender is a choice. And believe me, it chooses you. <laughs> you don't decide to be transgender. I've had people say, well, I have no problem with, with your lifestyle choice, as though this is a lifestyle. This is who I am. <laughs> this is how I'm made. This is me. And uh, I'm sure every trans person you talk to would say the same thing. So. Please stop putting this legislation against trans people. It's strictly mar getting a marginalized group that really can't fight back and make people galvanize hate towards that group. It's the same tactics that were done in the 30s in Germany. And it works, unfortunately. Nothing drives people to the polls to vote more than hate. So somehow we've got to drive people to the polls to vote from love and vote for wanting something instead of being afraid of something. Anyway, that's my, I'm on my soapbox about that. But just know that trans people are just like you and me. They're just like everyone else. And uh, we're here, we're gonna stay, we're not going anywhere. And um, just get used to us. <laughs> we're not here to hurt anybody. There, I know so many trans people that are exceptionally talented, they do such great work. I could go off and rattle off a bunch of names, but I'm sure I'd leave somebody out. Um, but check out people like like Lynn, Lynn Conway. Um, check out Sharon Brackett. Check out, oh, these, these incredibly marvelous people. That, um, there's, oh, again, I shouldn't have started that. <laughs> but there's lots of us. And um, anyway, I hope you're all handling the social distancing thing well. Obviously, I usually book a gig on the Transgender Day of Visibility, but that's not happening today. But um, I wish you all the best and we get through this isolation and, and we come out on the other side a little more tolerant and loving. So good luck, everyone. Stay clean. 